Billy. Hey Becky. Um, after I emailed you, I realized that I didn't have a camera of the same specs as yours, so I made one real quick this afternoon. Uh, though this looks completely different, it is of the same specs as yours. Um, I was able to get some 3,000 film at half price because it's out of date. Uh, conditions here right now, it's about 25 minutes before sunset. Uh, it's been hazy all day. I'm actually behind the house. The sun is actually out to the west this direction. Um, it's coming through clouds, so it's actually kind of crappy and kind of dark out. But for the 3,000, it should be fine. In fact, with this first test, hopefully it's the last test or the only test, I'm going to give it about a five-second exposure. So let's give it a try. That probably looks sick as hell. Alright, because it's so chilly out, I'm going to give this uh, about a two minute development. Alright, I'm back. I'm sure that's been at least two minutes, so let's crack this apart and see what happens. Um, Okay. Show this real quick. Okay, again, this was five seconds. Let's have a look here, see if I can. Actually, the proof looks pretty good. Um, for the negative, I might have gone, might have gone a little longer. I may have gone as much as ten seconds. So, so this is the proof. Oh, let's take a look at the neg. Okay. Now, oh, for your needs, since you like to scan the mag, I think I may have gone a little longer, though there is a lot of detail. You can see the cam this camera that's filming in the background. Losing some detail in here. Um, I think might have gone a little longer in the exposure, maybe up to, uh, oh, five to ten seconds, but now that the sun is starting to set, the, I'm losing light in a hurry, so uh, again, half hour before, or twenty five minutes before sunset, um, running probably about five seconds, and right now uh, I, I sense a change in the light, I've probably run it, well, ten or more. Um, actually, why don't we do another one real quick. I'm going to try this at ten seconds. It's now... Well, 15 minutes before sunset. That's about 10 seconds, wasn't it? See you in another couple minutes. I'm back. Okay, it's been well over two minutes. Um, so cold out, my batteries were dying, so I had to switch battery in the camera. So let's now give this one a try. Okay, that was, this was 10 seconds. Again, this is with the Type 667. 15 minutes before sunset, the sun's coming through haze, and I'm in the uh, on the back side of the house. So here we go. Um, Actually, came out a little lighter than the last one. There's the paper proof. And now, here's the negative. Now, with that one, with the negative, I see that there's more tonality in, in the face here where I lost it before. And it's not, there's nothing really blocking up. Sorry, I'm trying to get this without getting glare. Okay. But anyway, uh, looks like 10 seconds is a good starting point for this time of day. Um, anyway, uh, good luck with that. Uh, if you want to run longer time, so it's just going with the, the, the 664 film. Um, but 10 seconds gives you enough to reach over, open the shutter, get into position, 
and exposed. I think uh, I think I found in the past with pinhole, if you're in the scene for two thirds of the exposure, say you know out of <coughs> Uh, out of a 10 second exposure, if you're motionless for about 6 seconds of that, 6 or 7, um, you should be able to um, just record fine on film. You won't be, well, it'll be like spirit photography where you'll see through, but anyway, I'm rambling on. So, there we go, that's our test. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck. I'll see you on Fleckert.